What's up with it Raider Nation? It's your boy Raider Honcho and I'm back with a brand new video for you. Alright guys, get right into it. You already know the vibes. You already know what type of time I'm on. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, well damn, subscribe to the channel. Also hit me up on Instagram and Twitter, both at Raider Honcho. Now the Raiders just suffered another defeat. We took another L at the hands of the Los Angeles Chargers. This is a media reaction. The game just ended like literally six minutes ago. And uh, I know Twitter's going to be up in arms. I know Facebook is up in arms. I know YouTube is up in arms. Everybody's going to be up in arms about this game. And I think there are some positives you can take out of the game. Obviously, there's a lot of negatives, but uh, First and foremost, man, let's talk about the kid, man. Let's talk about the rookie, okay? Aiden O'Connell, I thought, played a very good game. Yes, he did have some turnovers. He did throw a costly interception uh, that pretty much ended the game for us. But in between all of those things, he played much better than I think you can expect a rookie to play, especially in this system, which is the Patriots system over there that Tom Brady used to run with Josh McDaniels when he was for the Patriots, right? Like, Derek Carr struggled in this system. Jimmy G has been struggling in his system. So for everybody to be wanting a rookie quarterback to come in who's been inactive, who hasn't even taken second team reps because uh, Hoyer has been the second team quarterback and come in here and expect him to do anything outside of what he's done is actually just crazy. You need to take a little bit of the money you're making off of YouTube or take a little bit of that money you're making at your job and go buy a damn clue. This is not Madden. This is not computer. This is not AI. You actually have to go play the games. So I think the rookie played well. I, obviously, we got to clean up a couple things. Obviously, got to take care of the ball. But the way he stayed in the pocket, the way he was able to put the ball downfield. I thought this is tremendous upside for him. I am not saying he should be the starter going forward. I am not saying he's better than Jimmy G. I am not saying he's going to be the savior of the Las Vegas Raiders. I'm just saying for what the expectations were, the, the, the realistic expectations on him, I thought he exceeded those. I thought he played a really good game. Now, as far as that defense, the first half of that defense was just horrible. They couldn't stop a nosebleed. They couldn't guard a graveyard. They couldn't do anything, okay? Uh, but I did like the way they turned around and showed a little bit of poise, showed a little bit of attitude there in that second half. I mean, they pretty much shut the Chargers down in that second half. Point blank period. There's really no way you can argue that, all right? I know you talk about uh, getting beat on the last uh, long pass on third and third and long and you give it up and the game is ultimately over But at the end of the day when you really break it down in that second half the Raiders had the Raiders defense Continued to give the offense chance time and time and time again Now I am always going to be the first one to blame the defense when I feel like it's their fault But at the end of the day you cannot expect the um the defense to continue to give you chance after chance after chance against another professional team against a quarterback like Justin Herbert and expect something not to break down eventually like they got to stop we got the ball back two minutes left first and goal we go and throw an interception you cannot blame the defense after that for giving up the first down it ultimately ended the game because that interception shouldn't have happened you had your whole playbook in front of you you could have ran the ball you could have did anything you was uh in front of the two minute warning actually so you had plenty of time you could have done anything so that leads me to my next point this game like many others is a clear indication and continues to prove the point to me that josh mcdaniels is just not proven that he is a good, competent head coach in the NFL. I do think Josh McDaniels is a great coordinator. I do think Josh McDaniels at times can game plan and script plays and call plays. Yes, at times, in moments, he's good. But for the most part, the offense looks stagnant way too many times. The, the route tree doesn't look great. Just the creativity in the playbook doesn't look all that awesome. And for all the hype on how hard it is to, to grasp the offense and how hard it is to understand McDaniels' defense, what is it to understand about it? It's pretty damn basic and vanilla in my opinion. You throw a couple jet motions in there you got routes that are, you got route plays that only have one receiver going deep he's oftentimes i see quarterbacks forcing the ball to Devontae Adams who has three guys on him where are the other guys where's anybody running routes at so once a game if anything else was glaring to me it's that Josh McDaniels just might not be the guy and everybody's gonna say well what do you do what do you think the remedy is what do you think the solution is I don't necessarily have the solution but guess what I don't get paid to have the solution I get paid to give my opinion on what the hell is wrong with the team so right now I think you either stick with Josh McDaniels and you try to get better players and hope that He's not as bad as coach as he looks, or you got to move on from Josh McDaniels and, and, and move on with a competent staff. But either way, you got to get some better players. You got to get better talent on this team. And it could have been in the draft. You could have got Jalen Carter. You could have got Christian Gonzalez. You could have got a ton of players that would actually be helping you right now. Instead, you got a bunch of players that are projects. Even Tyree Wilson, I will continue to say it. He is like a depth piece, in my opinion. You can feel how you want to feel about it, but that's just the facts, right? So you're going to need to get more talent on this team. As far as the defenses goes, 
Um, I don't know if the defense is more about talent because Marcus Peters is talented. Trayvon Merrick is talented. Shout out to him. Finally got another interception. I know it's got to be hard to try to get an interception with no thumb. Could you imagine a cat trying to catch a basketball? You ain't got no thumbs. I know it's got to be tough, but he got us an interception down there that set up some big plays for us. So I think there is talent. You got Max Crosby. You got Koontz, right? You got Diablo. You got some talent. I like Jacory and Bennett as well. You got some talent there. I don't necessarily like the scheme. I don't like the scheme that we're running. It seems like players are getting lost in the sauce. Uh, can't tell if they're a man coverage, zone coverage. It just looks like there's too many gaps um, when it comes to our defense. So you might want to think about getting another coordinator. If you're going to keep Josh McDaniels, at least get another defensive coordinator. If you want to get a, get a new defensive coordinator and keep Josh McDaniels, I, I, I understand that, but you can't keep the D.C. and keep Josh McDaniels. Somebody has got to go. We either need to play way better on defense or play way better on offense. You can't have it both ways. So I know a lot of people are going to be upset about this game. I wasn't really expecting that much considering we were going to be going down to our third quarterback. When you think about the third string quarterback, and he still gave us chances to win. He still made some plays for us down the field. Shout out to Devontae Adams for freaking coming back after that injury scare. And to the dog himself, man. Josh Jacobs, man, just willed this team. He had almost 80 yards receiving, about 60, 70 yards rushing the ball. Um, I could be wrong there. I, I ain't looking at no stats right now. But it seemed like he had a, a huge fingerprint on this game. So shout out to him for being a dog that we all know he is in Raider Nation. And that's why we think you should pay the man. Um, and I, I thought he stepped up. This is by far the best game he's had this year but uh, overall man I just I just can't be that upset about this loss because I just wasn't really expecting much going into it so I was actually more impressed than I am disappointed Josh McDaniels has to figure it out he either he either has to figure it out or he got to go Mark Davis has got to make some decisions man we got to start putting people in the place that can actually be successful man somebody who has track record somebody who's actually done something in this league not somebody who wants to be your friend like Mark Davis keeps bringing in people that are his friends stop it I don't stop who wants to be friends with him anyway man I mean damn I don't want to go out with nobody looking like looking like Mark Davis. Come on, man. We don't need no more friends. We need no homies. We need people that come in and be professionals and get the job done. I want you guys to get down in the comments right now. Tell me what you think about this game, what you like, what you didn't like, the pluses, the, the minuses, the, the, the good plays, the positives, the negatives. Just get down in the comments. Let me know what you think. If you like the video, like the video. Like the content on this channel. Subscribe to the channel. Hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. Both at Raider Honcho. Blue check poppy is in the building. Till the next time. As always, Raider Honcho out.